So, <laughs> I want to say thanks to Northwest Rally Sports uh, once again for supporting the community.
Self and Tyler are the only ones that have VH5s. That's a factory OEM hood scoop. That's not an aftermarket eBay custom fit, try to make it work thing. That's an actually made for that car. It took me six weeks to come from Japan. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm still not done. As soon as I get the six speed in, we can actually push it up to almost 400 because then I'll have the clutch and gears. I had a horse trough for a week out in the sun, 100 degree weather, just kept stirring. This is my favorite part of this. This was custom built by a friend of mine, though. That's my favorite sticker and favorite part of the car, honestly, because that's the epitome of it. Her name is Envy. Envy. N A E E, which stands for N D, which is nickel and dime. Yeah. That's exactly hey, Michael. <laughs> just admiring everything. ADF, what? the manual button in I can activate all wheel yeah. drive or actually lock it up, put it in front wheel drive, I can do all that. Wait, hold on, bud. So is it a 4A EAT transmission? Yeah. Yep. And, and um, I actually just put a rebuilt one in there like a week ago. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Pulled out the motor all well, buddy uh, Rob uh -huh. did. Um, it's a two point two? Yeah. Is it yeah, okay. just two point two. It Rob, blew the head gasket. A Rob turbine? Yeah. Oh really? Yep. He uh, he totally hooked me up and. Yeah, and uh, and you uh, did all the uh, rewiring for the paddle shifters. Yep. Took out the TCU itself. Mm -hmm. Took off the ROM that was on it. There's a custom ROM code that's on it, and I'm okay. using one of the pins uh, or two of the pins actually as a ground for it. So when the it senses the ground on a couple of the pins, it does. So I repurposed some oh, of the pins okay. and some other stuff. I had some help with that too. Yeah. Because that's a lot of assembly language to get mm -hmm. that one to work. Yeah. <laughs> then was that something that you wanted to do or? Yeah, so the, another guy kind of pioneered it. So then okay. um, his name is Press Lab. I don't know if you're on USMB. I hit him up. I was like, hey, how does this all work? So he gave me his code, did everything yeah. else. It took me about six months because I went through, learned assembly, had uh -huh. to figure out what was going on. And, you know, then I put the chip into the actual TCU. Then I had to wire up all the paddle shifters themselves. And right. there's a board with a bunch of diodes on it that controls how much um, yeah. voltage goes to the atmospheric sensor, which is what is actually used to control the um, all wheel drive with it. Oh, so oh, for I my, see. so it's like I had to repurpose a couple yeah. of the different pins and stuff because who cares about atmosphere sensing, no. right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, you know, a lot of these have uh, torque bind in the rear when you're right. turning. Um, is that from uh, duty solenoid C? Yeah. Okay. Correct. But it's just a solenoid. You just yep. fix it quite easy, I would imagine. Um, depends pulled. on if the actual um, clutches are bad in it, because basically it's, what they, it's called a multi-pressure transfer clutch. Mm -hmm. So it's got a whole bunch of fluid in it, and yeah. the solenoid controls the pressure, which then makes it either contract or not contract. Right. So there's actually some um, clutches in there and some other stuff in there, okay. too. So it all depends on... How old's yeah. the transmission, right? You right. know, did it get crap stuck into the back of it at some point, uh -huh. which is clogging something up, or your clutch is still good, yeah. you know? Because even with the new, like, I just put in a rebuilt 4 T into it, and it still, every once in a while, it'll hop when I come around the corners a little bit. So if I yank okay. it really hard and try to do a real tight corner, it'll kind of bind up, yeah. and then it'll loosen. So I just think it's because it's uh, rebuilt uh -huh. and still working stuff through it, but okay. I'm not too horribly worried about yeah. it. Yeah, what wheels are those? 
They're uh, they're just stock, but they're 235, 75, 15, so they're just shy of 31 inch okay. tires on it. Yeah. So they're and, just stock steelies. So. And uh, what lift kit did you use? Just custom? Uh, SJR. SJR did it. Yep. Nice. Yeah, this is actually one of his first legacy ones that he did. I went up and helped him clean out his shop for like a month uh -huh. up in Bellingham. Yeah. And uh, as a reward for that, you know, he gave me the lift kit. But it was he was just kind of designing it and working out a couple mm -hmm. of the bugs with it when I got it because I've had it now lifted for like four years or something. Okay. So, but it's, uh, I like it. I haven't had really any issues with it. The only reason my, my axes have gone is because they were going to go. <laughs> right? Okay. You know, it, yeah. I haven't really had any issues with, you know, So the not axles. too much angle on it. No, it actually kept the mm -hmm. um, suspension geometry pretty well. Yeah. You know, it's not maxing the axles out or anything, so. I see. Yeah. I'm like, I don't like that. Yeah. Phase two. Oops. Oh, someone's stuck. Oops. It's the one that I started playing with 11 years ago. I mean, this has the most history for me, you know, the uh -huh. most trail time of any car I've built. What year is it? 87. 87 GL. Yeah. So. He's got a receiver on the front and rear. You can switch back and forth. He's got the Anderson plug. So yeah. uh -huh. Second generation tent, don't do that. That's a uh, stock bumper? Mm hmm. What wheels are these? These are the, uh, Allied, the last of the Allied armament. Uh, Built by SOS Fab. Okay. 15 by 7s. Mm -hmm. What, uh, is a 6 inch lift? 4 inch. 4 inch. It was advertised as a 6, but after ADF made their 4 inch lift, yeah. that's where about line stacks. No, this is out at Armour. Oh, okay. That's what the Royale used to have. Yeah. Before, when Chris had it, it was Allied Armour. Yeah, this is the old school. It was Allied Armour, and then Alby Smith took over. And uh, I got the one of the last. Yeah. Got the Anderson plug. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the cute. Sort of like it's going out of style, but it's got the Delta cams. It's ported yeah. polish. Okay. Blows by like it's going out of style, hence the uh, vapor recovery system. But you know what? It still pulls hard, runs good. So I've got another one sitting in the garage, ready to go in when this one eventually decides to die. So, got bags here, and then it actually goes up pretty good. Uh, airbags. So okay. this is cantilever suspension. So when this inflates, it actually picks the picks the front up. Oh, okay. So that little pump there pulls fuel from the tank, fills this up, and then that's the high pressure pump there that actually feeds the and. It comes up here, and then okay. shoots over. But without that little swirl pot, uh, these weren't designed to have fuel injection. Mm -hmm. So when the tank is low, you go around a corner too hard. Yeah, it'll uh, starve the fuel pump. And you'll go, Bleh. <laughs> Replacement body, but I decided because it's not rusty, it's just a little uh, dinged up. So I just what year is it? Uh, Seventy-nine. <laughs> but it's like the 97 had a different oh. auto damage.
can't wash the top. Was it nice later? Yeah, we're going to fold up the other seats, but I got left. Well, here about the trail road. My son broke in into it. We don't have keys yet. Well, you can probably still get keys. Well, the lady has the call. Okay. Because I didn't go, here's my VIN number, can I get a key? And then you hooked the guy with the tumbler to the top. Yeah, they don't really do that. found in Grandview, Washington. <laughs> the guy, a picker, picked it up for his, uh, somebody in Japan who he buys bikes for. Uh -huh. And he says, well, I don't need that one. I've got that one or something like that. So he put up on Craigslist and all day. <laughs> I don't want to go any further that way up front. Good. Good. It's like T-ball. It's like participation award. Well, you know. Is that everyone? Don't stand up, please. Just give me one second. I like that in the Okay, look at Austin's cousin Stanley, then the orange gen one. I can see the grill in the garage. 
I'll bet Kendrick's winning the rest. Hell yeah! It's my other longboard. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.